inciting hatred. Turkish pop star arrested for joke on religious schools. I apologize. I'm about to butcher the Turkish language because I have literally no idea how this is supposed to be pronounced, but let's give it a shot. Okay. Recently, uh, Gülsen Kola Kolglu, <laughs> a 46-year-old Turkish pop star, has been under house arrest and facing prosecution for a simple joke about Turkish religious schools that she made on stage. During a concert in April in Istanbul, Gulsen made a joke in which she said that her bandmate's quote-unquote perversion could be explained by his attendance in an Imam Hatip religious school. <laughs> a video of the singer's comment went viral with the hashtag calling for her arrest. She was subsequent following the outrage, Gulsen was arrested for questioning and later detained. She was subsequently placed under house arrest after four days in jail and then indicted for inciting hatred. The outrage reached the senior members of the Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's Justice and Development Party, or AKP for short. Gulsen later apologized for her comments and said it was a joke and never meant to hurt anyone. Gulsen's lawyers requested her release from house arrest but was rejected. And she's previously been in big trouble because she wears like revealing outfits on stage and held up a pride flag in one of her shows, which we can see right there. Um, and so this is absolutely ridiculous. So part but of the comments were so mild. Like she didn't insult. Mild. It, she didn't insult Islam. She didn't insult the Prophet. She didn't insult the Quran. She didn't insult Allah. She was like, oh yeah, I have perverse, like my songs are like, Kind of no, no, like, she's she's it, making fun of a person that's a supporting musician in her band. Yeah, and he's oh. like, Oh, you're you have perversion because you went to a religious school, obviously. Ha ha. Like that is so mild. This is Turkey we're talking about? Yes. Like I thought in Turkey, the only way you could get in trouble religiously if you come out like you come out like anti this is Kamal Auto Turks Turkey. Yes. This is Kamal Auto Turks Turkey. Like Based on these, how could they still like? How could they still pretend like Kamal Ataturk is like their hero after all of this? Have they heard what do Kamal Ataturk has said? <laughs> they, no, they still do. I mean, even Erdogan like, acts like this is the founding father. Like, they, like, have they heard what the, their founding father has to say about Islam? Should I show them their cause? Like, based on these standards, that man would be executed right now. Like, what is this? <laughs> What is this? God damn it. Uh, Turkey. Turkey is like, oh, well, this is, how could they still pretend like this is like a NATO country? God damn it. This is a country. Actually, that won, I mean, won... we really, we really need them in NATO as much as I don't yeah. like this. So like, let's keep them in NATO, but like, let's forget ever putting them in the EU. <laughs> um, but. Okay. So, so Yuval is saying Ataturk is not the government's hero for quite a while now they act like it oh like they kind of still i know it's not but i mean they still pay him the respects and act like he's like founding father like they do go through the symbolism and all that stuff they do um wonder if she would be in some trouble if she was gay i mean i don't know this is turkey guys turkey is supposed to be extremely like has a strong secular movement Oh, wait, Susanna, what? Okay, back. are you back? Okay, what are you going to say? Yeah, Sorry, no, so one thing I wanted to talk about is I've seen a little bit of conflicting information about exactly what the joke was. So in some translations, journalistic reportings of the joke, the joke is that the band member's name, his nickname is Imam. So like, that's his nickname. And so they were like joking about that and saying like, oh, that's why you're perverse, blah, blah, blah. In other reportings of the joke because obviously i don't speak turkish i can't understand what she said um she basically made a joke about him going to like a general religious school and then some people say it was about him going to this specific kind of religious school and the specific kind of religious school is the imam hatip school and what forever stormy is saying and this is what i wanted to say next it's very important is she's saying i believe the imam hatip schools are linked to erdogan himself that dude is prickly no wonder she ended up in jail yes erdogan studied at one of these imam hatip schools and under erdogan's 
reign, so to speak, the number of these kinds of schools has risen sharply. And so the whole idea about how she was inciting hatred, because I'm like, okay, even if she did make this joke, I don't understand how this meets the standard of inciting hatred, but they're saying that she's accusing all these people who went to these schools and everyone who appreciates the work of these schools, all this stuff, she's accusing them of being perverse. She's inciting hatred against them because she's saying that they're perverse and obviously perversion is something to be hated, blah, blah, blah. So like, that's the logic, which I think is absurd. Um, yeah. It's, what do you think about that? What do you think about that link to Aragon? Okay, so this is, this is like more political disguise as being, um, religious, right? So I think. Yes. And a... they also think that a lot of this has to do with signaling to his conservative base, because I believe the elections are coming up in 10 months. Hmm. And the opposition to him has also seized on this, basically campaigning like, hey, come vote for us. Like, we don't want you to become the next Golson. Like, we want to go free Golson, all this stuff. So it's become heavily politicized. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So, again, uh, this actually shows how religion is used because a lot of atheists assume that religion is just used for it's for religion's sakes always usually religion is a tool for a different um goal right religion for the religion's sake is, is, is supposedly it has divine sanction that cannot question its authority yeah yeah it's still okay it's still horrible i mean it's a weapon for you know perverse outcomes like um like it is it but it's still a weapon it's still a dangerous weapon so you sh i'm still at I'm not defending religion, okay? But I just have, I have to, have to, if you want to understand how it's used, you have to, politically, this is how it's used, right? Because a lot of atheists have this simplistic understanding of religion. I think like every religious people, uh, they're, when they're using religion, um, they're doing it for the religion itself. It usually is, sometimes it's like that, but usually there's some ulterior motives and religion is just a good excuse. Um which is still religion is horrible because it makes bad conclude like makes gives you good excuses for bad um um outcomes right like bad um events or bad uh, activity bad things that you wanted evil things that you wanted to do um without religion it would be harder to come up with excuses for them but when you put divinity behind them it's easier to ex uh, to excuse them or justify them yeah really yeah religion is useful for is useful for evil for doing for excusing and defending evil that's what it's yeah useful. exactly that otherwise would be intolerable yeah. d is yeah also pointing out that she was a target in the past for the way that she dresses and supporting the lgbt community which you know has become increasingly difficult in turkey nowadays which is really unfortunate it's really so upsetting because they were having so much progress there yeah it's so sad because it was going the other way around this um, it's crazy that we uh, Turkey at some point was looking into joining the EU. Like it's embarrassing. Um, yeah. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.